Let's look at the Subway Art feature. There are several preloaded Subway Art templates that were installed when you installed the program. They're located on your C drive in a folder called Designs and in a subfolder called Fine Line. I'll open the large baby Subway Art template. Designs come into Fine Line grouped, so to ungroup so that we can work with individual words, click on the design and right click and select ungroup. Now click anywhere in the screen and you can select individual words in the sequence view or in the active screen by clicking directly on the word with the select tool highlighted. To change the word you will select it with the select tool and then choose the text tool. Once you have chosen the text tool, if the word was created in the fine line software, you get additional controls between each letter that control the spacing. To change the name of the baby, click on it and in the text properties box, type a new name. I've typed a new name and when I click apply the new name has been inserted. To make it take up the entire length of the opening place the cursor over the double diamond at the end of the box, press and hold the left mouse button and stretch by rolling the mouse. This takes much of the work out of creating a Subway Art creation. If you'd like to add some space, like between this W and the Y, just place the cursor over the blue double head arrow and hold the left mouse button and roll the mouse to create space. To change the date, switch back to the Select tool Click on the date and then choose the text tool. You see the controls appear on the lettering. So let's say that the baby was born in July the 15th of 2015 and we click apply the numbers of the date have changed. Now let's say that it was July the 4th. Then that would take up less room and again we can use the double black arrows at the end of the text box while holding the left mouse button and rolling the mouse to adjust to take up the new space. Let's say that you wanted to have dashes between the date instead of the slashes. Just type them in and adjust as needed. When you click off you see your new date has been applied. Let's say you want a different font style. Click on it while you have the blue controls which means that you are in the text mode and select a different font. I'll select Arial and apply. And there you have the new font style applied. Let's say we want to add some space here or move this to each individual item is adjustable. Now let's look at a different example. I'll go to File, Open, I'll select Family 2, and upon opening I'm going to click on the 3D view. I'll click on the design with the Select tool active and then right click and select Ungroup. Now each item 
whether it's a word or a small design, can be selected directly from the sequence view. Note that if you then click on the text tool, if it's a word that was created and is changeable in the fine line software, you'll get the blue controls. On the other hand, if you select a word that is not changeable, and you click on the text tool, you do not get the controls. It's simply deselected. So there will be a few words or items in some templates that are not changeable. One of the ones in this template is family. But notice if I click on other words and then click on the text tool, I do get the text controls. So I'm going to choose the word stories and I'm going to click on the text tool and I'm going to change it to sewing and click apply and I can stretch the word I can also add space between the characters I'm going to do that here in the space percent dialog and I like the look with it spread out a little more. Remember if you accidentally are on the text tool and you click out in the open area and get an unwanted character to delete it click on the select tool and press the delete key or cut from the edit menu. Have fun working with your subway art.